Yeah, but I'm feeling really stressed out right now. fucking stressed. <clears throat> Mostly mentally fucking stressed. Financially stressed, just stressed. to suffer with mental illness. It is the worst thing anybody could ever go through. Having freaking anxiety sucks. I wouldn't wish mental illness on anybody. Struggle. <coughs> it's a struggle every day. sucks to you because when I'm manic and when I used to mess with my medications before I had my son and everything, I was so creative, so spiritual, so just different, but then, you know, there's bad things about it too, like being violent and the most I struggled now is it's been like six months or less since I started to hear voices and get paranoid and all that it's like when my schizophrenia acts up with my mortalness <clears throat> I don't really like get out of just reality with my medications. I don't get really delusions or anything like that. I just get anxiety, depression, paranoia, and when it wants to, I hear voices. It's not voices of the time, but it does happen. And it sucks. I'll hear like 
people like talking from afar that I can't make up what they're saying and like nobody's awake or I hear my name being called <coughs> and I ask people in my house to call me and they tell me no they have not they weren't saying anything or think people are talking about my back when they're not and it just sucks like mental illness freaking sucks and now I have to pay $200 a month to my sister because I live with her and my family so now I have to have $200 of my money gone um, money that I could use for my kid or whatever um, and it sucks because I don't make a lot of money and every month now is a struggle um, to get the things that I need for my son and for me yeah my sister pays for food but that's about it everything else I have to pay for get much help with them. Um, so my whole life is around my son. I babysit a good amount of the week. Good amount. Um, I don't get to have fun anymore. I don't get to go out with friends. My love life is put on hold. I don't ever get a babysitter. to do what I need to do, like watch my nephews for my sister, and clean the house when I'm babysitting, and all that stuff, to do laundry, um, and take care of the kids, you know, make food for them, make sure they're taken care of, you know, baths, all that stuff. Nobody will help you when you're in need. Everybody loves you and cares about you when you're in a good mood or you're not struggling 
or whatever and then when you're in need it's like they're not there they're they say that they'll be there for you that they'll listen to you and all that and then when you're having a hard time or whatever they're not there they don't people people won't give a fuck like you know I've been through a lot like mentally and emotionally and you know family life and drama and being mentally abused a lot of my life with relationships and non-relationships and just I'm an easy target so I've been treated like shit a lot of my life um things have gotten better in the household but when my mom passed away my sister started threatening to kick me and my brother out um that's what happened so <coughs> but lately like things have gotten better in the household you know I'm now being told that I have 14 days until I have to put smoking again because they don't want me smoking at the house so it's just it's just bullshit and it's really freaking hard and I have no life whatsoever I'm trapped in a cage I lost the love of my life in a fire. The only fun I have is if my brother wants to hang out with me. The only fun I have, or if my ex wants to hang out with me, which is hardly ever. I have no friends. All my friends are in California or wherever they moved to because I moved out here and didn't make any friends. I don't people want to hang out with me all the time and I can't make plans with them because I don't have anybody to babysit my son and I don't want my son being in random relationships with me with random people with friends that I've known for a little while but you know what I mean like just all that and nobody wants to hang out with somebody that has a kid and and the kid has to go with them because guys think with their fucking dicks all the time and